Welcome back guys. My name is Edox82 and I hope you're ready to get your chaos on because we are playing some more of the Rage of the Dark Gods or Call of Warhammer modification for Medieval 2 Total War. I hope you guys have been enjoying this let's play so far and I hope you'll continue to stick around and play some more with me. So as you can see, loading up the save file, we're playing as the Chaos Dwarves. If you guys are new to this, that's the faction we're playing as. Oh, and we've had a crash. Sorry, guys. I'll be right back with Rage of the Dark Gods. <laughs> Have to reload the game. That's not a good way to start this episode, but anyways, let's continue. <laughs> Let's try this again. I don't know if you've noticed, guys, but I've been um, playing some campaigns in my own personal time. I mean, and uh, the most recent one that I've been playing is for the Chaos Faction Nurgle, and I've been really enjoying that one. I've been taking over the Chaos Wastelands, beating down the followers of Zinch, the cultists of Slanesh. I haven't quite encountered mm, yeah, the children of corn just yet, but I will eventually. But back to our Chaos Doors campaign. We have no issues as of now with the surrounding Skaven and Tomb King factions. We are currently moving our dwarves up to our dwarf merchants up to the um, blue shiny rocks to make a profit. We have got uh, Gorgos Tower on lockdown. Nobody's coming in, nobody's coming out. We're producing highways here, so that'll up our income and our trade a bit from our uh, for the trade and be able to move our armies quicker around the map. We are pretty weak over here in Az. Kulak, which is our capital, and that is because we suffered a humiliating defeat at uh, Karak Vlag by the demons, and they still have a significant force here. They absolutely slaughtered my men there. So we're going to rebuild, come back, and then kill them all. But as for right now, it appears that all that we can do is end our turn. Hopefully, none of the factions nearby turn on us, but they might. We are allied with the Orcs and the Goblins, so our northern frontier from Gorgoth's Tower is secure. It's just to the west that we need to worry about. We could move in and wipe out the Skaven, but then we would piss off the Skaven all over the map, and that would not be beneficial for me, because we wouldn't wipe them out completely. So I'm thinking more along the lines of attacking the Tomb Kings and taking the Camry Ruins from them, because their province is incredibly rich, and if I allow them to grow like they are and fight more with us, they'll become unstoppable. I just won't be able to contain them any longer, so it's better that I preemptively strike them and put an end to them before they can overpower me. Oh, do I want Ogle Khan? Mm. He's going to cost me a crap ton of money. Sure. Oh, Wolf Riders of Ogle Khan. He is an incredible mercenary general that you can get. Um, I've got him in my personal Let's Play before of the Chaos Dwarves, and he helped me a lot. Um, okay, we finished building our highways here. That'll make us move really fast. 
Uh, the only problem is him and his uh, wolf riders will cost so much money, but we can still uh, we can still uh, handle that burden at this present moment. Oh, so the dwarves hold Mount Silver Spear, and the orcs are still there. Can't go any further today. Okay, this is the Prince of the Tomb Kings. They have a full stack, a secondary general. Uh, that's a, ooh, two silver chevrons on their Tomb King skeletons. And I can't see the rest of their men, unfortunately. The Skaven are incredibly vulnerable here, but like I said before, I don't want to bring down the Wrath of the Skaven from literally everywhere. Um, I'm going to move this guy into the army. He'll take command. And then we're going to move pretty much everyone we possibly can over to the army. And we can have one more, I believe. So we'll add some more Wolf Riders to the army. I know we can get one more. But we need him to stay and occupy the fort, because if we don't, well, the place is going to get crapped all over and we'll lose. <laughs> uh, yes, Chamber of Annihilation. I'm going to grab that, because that will allow us to recruit more ranged support units quicker. We'll take what we have and march towards the Sil Skaven lair, but our real target is actually the Camry Ruins, and they don't know that. So we're coming in hot, and they're going to be very surprised. <laughs> okay, let's see how we're doing over in the capital. Um, we can get a Heavy Armorer, or the Big Orcs range. Hmm. I think I'll retrain my men first. And we can recruit some more. Let's get some hobgoblin archers. Power our fun. Ooh, we're going negative. Uh, we're going into the red people. We can fix that. Oh yes, we can fix that. Uh, as per usual, I'll be saving frequently, pretty much every turn, because this game, being a mod as it is, tends to crash, considering it's in its beta phase for the 1.6 that we're currently in. But that'll be okay. I will continue to play for as long as I can. So let's hope that the Tomb Kings don't do anything stupid and come and attack me. Because I want to preemptively strike them. Hmm, looks like the Skaven were beaten back within the Orc lands. I think they're at war with the Orcs. Yep, and there's a huge Orc army that popped out of view, and now he's gone back to his village. Ooh, the Orcs are moving in on the Dwarves over at Mount Silver Spear. I wonder if they'll try and siege it. If they don't, I definitely will. Okay, so the Tomb Kings are moving more forces towards me. Let's hope they aren't intended for me. I think they are. Looks like the Tomb Kings have realized that I am a force to be reckoned with, and I will be a problem for them if they don't, if they let me go unchecked. So, um, we need to attack now. Sir, so one of the rulers hired mighty Zhrolga, Marauder's Darklands, okay. We got a gift of 3,000 crowns, awesome, that stopped us from going negative. Thank you, Council of Nobles, you are awesome. We've retrained some men and, re and trained some. So now we can get a better picture of what the Tomb Kings are packing. They've got Tomb Guard, Tomb King's Heavy Skeleton Horsemen, Tomb King's Skeletons, Tomb King's Skeleton Warriors, uh, Tomb King Heavy Infantry. It's ironic their name because they're actually light infantry. Uh, they got skeleton archers, 
uh, Skull Catapult, which is kind of crap as hell. Uh, skeleton Horsemen, Horsemen with bows, Slaves. These guys are going to just disintegrate in like the first charge. They got more Skeletons, Spearmen, Warriors, Archers, Horsemen, the Tomb Guard, which will be a problem, and even more Slaves. Okay. So before we engage the Ready Tomb Kings, we're going to move our merchants again. I'm going, I'm going. Can't go any further today. Hmm. Ready to make a deal. I'm How much will we make I'm off going. of this? 551 crowns. I'm going, I'm Absolutely. Can't go any further That'll put today. us in a very good way financially, like straight up. Hmm. Are there any buildings around here that I can get for economic purposes? Not at the moment. Let's retrain the Dwarf Alabasts. And we're meant to going to go negative here, but um, that's okay. Let's attack the oh, Nekakahara and Heir, which is the Tomb King's Heir. Let's uh, throw down a save real quick. All right, and let's engage. Yes, we want to attack the neutral faction. Okay, so we have an advantage over them, two to one. Hmm. That'll give us more command points, but from the perspective of the let's play, it'll be harder for you guys to see. So I'm going to fight this in the day. Because it's not like it matters too much. Like, we're not the vampire counts of Sylvania where we get debuffs during the day. So it's better for us to fight during the day. So you can see. That's simply all it is. Will we get a general speech, I wonder? First clash of two great nations. Nope, no general speech. Okay. <laughs> Let's uh, grab everyone and quickly pull them all back so that we can have a better lay of the land. Yes, yes, we are definitely going up this hill. Okay, so we're going to put our death rocket in the front ranks because it is the slowest thing we have. We'll protect it obviously with our vast amount of cavalry. Our infantry are going to support the advance of the cannon also. The death rockets will not be molested on their journey up the hill. Our archers will all move in the rear so that they don't get run down as well group them all up. Our general, Dwarven general, will uh, uh, accompany these forces. He's a uh, heavy infantry, so he's kind of slow. And now we've got Ola Khan and his wolf boys, plus the other wolf riders that we brought, which are the Hobgoblin wolf riders, and we're going to... Yep, yeah, riders, and we're going to uh, deploy them on the plains and employ them to harass our enemies greatly. Where is Olog Khan himself? Ah, he's over here. <laughs> he's, he's an orc. And then he's got this chaos dwarf with him. That's kind of funny. So we got the rest of his group. They sort of look like Mongolians, but um, we're gonna start this battle up. And holy crap, they're already on the hill. They have scouted ahead of our position and started on the hill, which is really bad for us because now we have to fight them for the hill and get them the hell off of it. It means we can't move our uh, death rocket up. We kind of have to <sighs> fight our way up the hill.
Okay, you want to be a pain in my ass, don't you? Well, I'm going to unnerve you greatly by bringing my cavalry around your rear. Let's rally the troops so that they don't get <laughs> too upset. Um, I suppose I could move my death rocket up a little. Oh, he's attacking their catapult. That's a good job. Um, where would be a more advan advantageous position for them? Over here, I believe. So let's move you around. There are they are seriously concerned about my cavalry presence on their flank. <laughs> they should be. Charge. Hey, didn't expect that. You're screwed, skeleton horseman. My men are incredibly powerful. Okay, we need to... Oh, crap. They're overrunning the ranks. Crap. Crap. No. No, 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 no. This is really bad. Um... Horseman. Oh, screw that. Don't do it. Cavalry. Get back. Oh no, our sneaky dits are buggering off. Um, quickly, go, go, go. Oh, these are blunderbusses? Turn around, you fools. Yeah, get the tomb guard. How are you doing, General? Ooh, badly. Cavalry, everyone can help the General. Enemy General's fallen. Excellent. Look. Come here, you stupid bullfriders. Help your general. He needs it badly. Oh no, my death rockets are done for. They were slaughtered. That's my bad. Miss microed it. Man, I am so sloppy all over this battlefield right now. Uh, you need to intercept those guys, like, immediately. Do not let them recharge my other men. Our general's doing okay. Yes, that's what happens when you have cavalry support up the yin yang. All right, cavalry, move on. Who are you fighting down here, anyways? General, go after the skeleton slaves. Uh, come over here and take out their catapults. We are getting demolished.
No! Darok the Unbreakable fell in battle. How did this happen? General's bodyguard, you guys are done for, so go do as much damage as you possibly can. Take those archers out of the fight now. They're probably what killed your general. What's this hobgoblin doing all on his own? Oh, we just lost another general, did we? No, enemy general's fallen. Good, good, good. The prince is down. The prince is dead. Ha ha. Go get the skull catapults, cavalry, please. Useless. Go get the archers. For some reason these wolf riders aren't moving as a cohesive unit whenever I order them to. So I have to individually order them to do stuff. And you can go support that attack. These two archers that survived are just launching arrows all random directions. You go that way. Attack, attack. Everybody pile in on this guy. Bring him down. Stopped those dirty catapults from debuffing my units. Um, I think we're wrapped. Like we've taken everything out except for this one horse guy, who won't survive for very long. No one has got literally everybody up his ass. You're gonna run away from me, huh? You're gonna try and skirmish your way out of this. I don't think so, mister. What the hell? Why did you stop? Why are these wolf riders stopping in their tracks? You guys can catch this skeleton horseman, come on. Just get him. <laughs> this is embarrassing. They can't catch one skeleton horseman. At least we still have Ola Khan's wolf boys because um, they will now take command considering Garak the Unbreakable has fallen in battle. My goodness. I can't even quit out of this battle because this guy is still on the battlefield. How am I losing men? He's one archer on a horse. It's unbelievably annoying me right now. Chase him down, damn it. Arch, is you in range?
Even on six times speed, this isn't very fast. Come on, guys, get this dude. Oh my goodness, this is annoying. Got literally every dude chasing this guy. Get back here, you punk. Just accept your fate, you're already dead. What does it matter if I kill you again? Your army's lost. Your prince is dead. Another general has died. All your brothers are dead as well. <sighs> this is so dumb. He's been leading me all the way around the map over and over and over again. And if he runs out the damn clock and wins, I'm going to be so salty. This guy is not chasing right now, what the hell. It's giving you attack order to every single person individually to kill this guy because they all seem to just be hanging back in formation almost, it seems. And they're shooting me again. You punk. Guys, you heard of second gear? Use it. I'm sure Luffy would love to share you the secrets of the second gear. This guy is like the biggest trolley bony skeleton man ever. He's just he just waits for us to get super close and then he's just like, hey guess what? You nearly got me. Nope. Bye. And he just starts running again. That's it. Strategy time, y'all. I actually, we got him. That's right. Suck a bony dick. About damn time. So we lost 671 men out of our 985 army. Damn. Uh, we destroyed their entire army of 1,252. Who got the most kills? Ola Khan's Wolf Boy, Wolf Boy Guards. So Ola Khan himself got 179 kills. Seems to be the most. Good job. Those Wolf Boys definitely uh, paying... <laughs> they're definitely making their... They're uh, paying for them worth it. Lovely lizard man background right there. Unfortunately, the lizard men aren't in this game as of yet. This modification. Hopefully, they will be added in a future update. I don't understand Russian. If you guys are but wondering what that is, that's uh, Russian text. All right. Yep, Garak the Unbreakable fell in battle. Ola Khan became, got one more command. He's a promising commander. He got fierce in battle. So it says this man is beginning to frighten people just by his menacing presence. So he gains one dread, one plus morale for all the troops on the battlefield, and one plus command when attacking. Minus one when defending, though. Uh, he got winning first, so... He's, apparently he knows no mercy in battle, he's got one more dread. 
and he feels appreciated, so he's got one more loyalty. Let's uh, merge our units together and push on this guy. Let's finish him. Okay, we got a seven to three advantage. Yeah, it's not worth our time. Let's auto resolve, clear victory. Let's ransom these prisoners. They accept. Awesome. Now we've got a bunch of money. Cruel and cunning. This guy is becoming incredibly dreaded. He commonly tortures his subjects as a display of authority. So this guy is becoming a fearsome warlord. Where's garages need settling? <laughs> Um, unfortunately we don't have the manpower to push on the capital because they have a full stack as well as all of these guys here. So we're going to pull back to uh, Gorgoth's tower. And we're going to recruit a Chaos Dwarf Alabast. A Earth Shaker Cannon and a Death Rocket. That's going to put us in the negative, it says, but that's okay for now. Uh, anyone needs retraining? Yep, Goblin Archers. Why can I not retrain these Arrow Boys? Are there no more Arrow Boys? Okay, two more turns. Um, how's our merchants doing? They'll get there in ready one turn. <laughs> feel the war. Let's save it up and end the turn. So that was a pretty good opening skirmish with the Tomb Kings. We need to come back even stronger next turn and take down even more of them. The only problem that we're facing at the moment in Gorgos Tower is recruitment. We have a small recruitment pool and just not enough men to go around really. So unfortunately the Tomb Kings are going to start to overrun us down here because they can recruit many units very quickly although their units are absolute garbage, whereas ours are quality. So, it's going to be a bit tricky, but we'll persevere and we'll make our way into their lands and take it over eventually. But you'll probably see us uh, fighting backwards and forwards with the Tomb Kings again and again and again, just on the border for a little while now. Hopefully not too long. Hopefully I can beat them down in a very decisive manner and continue to push and then finish them. Mm. Looks like they're combining their forces because they know that I'll come for them and if they're weak then things aren't going to be good. Skaven uh, producing more units, getting a bit stronger, guarding their territory well. All right, let's quickly move Ola Khan back to Gorgos Tower. So we lost a bit of money, but we're doing better financially apparently. So this is the reason I suggested attacking the Tomb Kings is because they are number one in the financial standing of the world. They must be packing some serious amounts of coin because how else would they be number one? All right, let's get into here. No more units can be retrained. Interesting. Okay, let's check the buildings. Yeah. Um, what do we want? What do we want? A warrior's hall would be good.
Hmm. Maybe. Yes, Ammonic Chaos Barracks. We'll go with that. That'll definitely help us in the long run. Uh, for right now, we're going to get more blunder uh, blunderbusses and move our merchants onto the Berenduraz mines and I'm get going, massive going. profits off of this. I'm going, I'm going. Ooh. Oh, this guy's even I'm better. Going, I'm going. We'll start trading this immediately, ready to make a deal. Awesome. So our merchant trade is already sitting at 1,377. We're doing so good now. Our pro oh, we're still going to lose money, it says, but our profits will start to go up again. It could be a lot worse. How many more turns? One more turn until we can recruit more Arrow Boys over there. So we'll wait that out. Let's uh, slap another save down and end the turn and get ready to see what develops from this. Soon enough we'll start to fight even more varied opponents, but for right now we're kind of boxed in where we are. And finding those mines with those merchants was a huge win. So much gold just from two merchants. That can pay for like maybe two or three different units on its own. And that can be like the difference between victory or defeat in a battle and in the war to come. So we've moved up to the dwarves. It seems that they're pursuing the night goblins up to their keep. I wonder if they will take it. Ah, now the tomb kings are marshalling an army, it seems. Are they sending it towards me or towards the border princes who are further west? If he's been going towards the border princes, they don't see me as much of a threat. Now that is a big mistake, my friend, because I am coming for you. And I'm coming back in larger numbers than before. I will be more powerful. Round two will not go well for you. Of course you can get married. Build the family. Okay, we've got two new units at Gorgoth's Tower. Let's check out the family tree. So that's what it looks like so far. We've had uh, Garak the Unbreakable die in battle, as well as Olfo Unbreakable. He died in battle. Apparently this entire family is unbreakable. <laughs> um, this guy, I believe, just got married. Oh, he's got a 16-year-old wife and he's 21. <laughs> okay. That's that's cool. <laughs> I'm going to get some more blunderbusses. And some more alabests. Let's go north to our capital. And retrain those arrow boys. Awesome. So we are losing money still, but we'll be okay. General, General Coley. Ooh, he's got long beards, iron breakers, warriors, quarrelers, hammerers. This is a decent army. It's a full stack. Those dwarves will cause a lot of damage. Let's get ready to end the turn. All right. See what happens here. Mm. Going through the Empire turns. We don't see much from the Empire for a while because we're not really near them. It appears the Night Goblins are attempting to defend themselves. I'll be right back, guys.
All right, guys, I'm back. Okay, so the dwarves aren't pressing the night goblins. They're moving back to their own holds. They must feel that it's too difficult to take out the night goblins. Tomb Kings, what are you up to? Okay, maybe now's a good idea to move forward an army towards the Tomb Kings because they are moving more and more forces away. And they're getting weaker and weaker. It seems as if the Skaven might be venturing into Dwarven lands. Mighty Zhrog is dead. Okay, so someone's mercenary unit has died. We've recruited three more units down at Gorgos Tower. We've nearly got a full stack. We can't actually recruit anyone else for right now. So we are going to... Um, yeah, we're just going to go with what we have. Leave this guy back at home. And move down the path. We can afford to have that army in the field, it seems. Olga Khan is a great general for us. Uh, not all of our men were able to really retrain, but that's okay. We've got a few more. We'll be fine. <laughs> How are things going over here? Hmm. Let's create the heavy armorer and let's not do anything else because we will start to lose money tremendously if we do anything more. Ready to make a deal. This guy. My Ready hero. To make a deal. Those dwarven merchants, okay. Oh, they've got a Shabbati. Those guys are incredible, as well as the Tomb Guard. Ooh, and not quite a full stack to deal with. I think we can finally push on the Camry Ruins and take it from them. Let's do it. Night goblins are bringing troops out down from their fortress. Maybe they're looking for a little revenge on the dwarves who attacked them earlier. Can't see too much about what the orcs are doing, but at least they're not attacking me and they're supposedly my allies. <laughs> I hope the tomb kings are busy fighting the border princes, because that'll mean they'll draw even more warriors that way, and I will be able to sneak in basically the back door and take them out. Nope, they've brought more warriors back towards me and they're coming for my ass instead. Damn you Tomb Kings. They just keep pumping out more and more troops. More than I can produce. I can't really counter their numbers. Oh, the cultists of Slanesh and the Dark Elves have um, teamed up. I will not waste words on you oh, holy crap, Lich Priests. These guys will wreck me. I hope my expenses will be reimbursed. Let's go. Let's try a nighttime battle. Awesome. We've nearly got a full 10 command with Olog Khan. Hopefully he survives for a long time. Let's try and do this. Basically the key to us winning this fight is destroying those Lich Priests immediately. I cannot allow them to 
start firing their magic on us because they will kill everyone. Let's wait it out a bit to see if we can make it lighter. Yes, we can. Oh, but it's foggy. Let's wait again. That's better. Start deployment. Okay, as I usually do, send everybody back to the edge of the deployment zone. Let's set up my artillery on the ridge. And let them fire at will. Because we do not want those nasty, nasty lich priests to come down on my ass and destroy us. Let's put the blunderbusses next to them. The archer units, what I have, will come on this flank and support. We're basically just going to hold. And the infantry forces that I have, which are small, will protect at all costs, while my wolf riders will be basically rushing around, slaughtering everything they see, because the only way we're going to win this is by keeping them at a distance and using our speed. Okay, where are they? Where are they? Over there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not good news. Not good news. Blunderbusses, move. Infantry, push this way. Archers, swivel around and form a line with the rest of the group. Artillery, just keep firing as you were until I saw you do that. Now you must move. Because friendly fire in this circumstance is not okay. No, you will definitely not be getting up that stupid hill. Okay, go. You guys are dead anyway, so get those Lich Priests. We've already taken out 2% of them, and they've already taken out 2% of us. So things are going fairly even at the moment. Ooh, the Earthshaker Cannon's still opening up on them. Yeah, you better run. I need to get rid of those damn Lich Priests. I can't let them get up on that hill, no matter what. I don't care. If you die, you just need to take those Lich Priests down. At all costs. That's the only thing you need to kill. If you can kill them, we win. Yes! Get them! Yes! Take that Lich Priest. Alright, so let's bring the rest of our wolf riders up on top of this ridge so we force them to come to us because they'll have to fight up the hill if they try to take the ridge again. And our death rockets are opening up as well as the Earthshaker cannon. Things are going really well for us right now. Awesome, we've destroyed the Lich Priests. Let's get our wolf riders out of here real quick. You've done a good job, guys. Well done. Now, come this way and attack. What can you attack? Oh, go get them. The infantry are moving forward. That is not good news. Oh, crap. My blunderbusses are in a serious blunder position right now. 
they have a really crap firing line, so things are not going to go well. Let's move my infantry forward and stop their advance. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Cavalry, you need to come back right now. Oh, we're roasting them. And our blunderbusses aren't going to get to fire, really. They are going to get stuck in a melee, which is okay, because our Dwarven Warriors are quite versatile in combat. They are incredibly powerful. I need the Tomb Guard dead, like yesterday. I can't let them get into the rear of my... Uh, lines because then I'll start destroying my artillery which I really need. Oh good. Crap. Artillery, you need a pullback. Sorry about this, but you are not safe here. Fill them full of arrows, guys. Slaughter them. Point blank range. Oh, my artillery is so slow. They're going to get caught. Come this way. Keep moving. Run. Run for your life. Oh man. Damn it. Keep moving, keep moving. You can come back and pick up your artillery pieces later when you're safe. So they've got spearmen moving up. Oh, not spearmen. They are spearmen, but they're just labeled as warriors. Who died? Oh, the enemy general has fallen. Good, good, good. Hopefully that'll break them. Okay, all of our archers are engaged currently. We can't fire at anyone. Things are holding up okay over here. Our dwarf warriors are free to fight somewhere else. get them coming towards these skeleton spears. So, oh, we do have units firing. Okay, that's cool. Tomb King spears go down. Them. Let's bring our cavalry out wide, Let's swing around for a rear charge. Let's bring these archers this way. Sneaky gets a free to charge. Today. 
I've really mismanaged most of my units in this fight. <laughs> Hold your fire, and now fire at whatever the hell you want. Shoot these guys, please. Or not, just, just don't. It's good to... Does he now? Who do we have to eliminate still? Anyone? <laughs> oh, these guys. Right, they're gonna get shot to pieces. There's one guy left. Oh no, friendly fire! And we got him. Victory! Good job, my men. So we only lost 194 men, and they, then we killed their 721. We didn't take any prisoners, which would have been nice, but we did okay. So Olok Khan's wolf boys seem to have done the most casualties, being 113. That's yet another Khemri army that we've destroyed. Unfortunately, we're going to have to withdraw back to our own Gorgoth Tower, to our own lands, because... Uh, we're really weak now, right now, and we just can't sustain a siege. It just won't go well. We'll definitely lose. <laughs> Man. More Russian. <laughs> awesome. More command for Olok Khan. And he's got a dragon cloak now. Ooh. Made from the scales of defeated dragon, this cloak gives the wearer magical protection from most attacks, from most of the attacks. Okay, so we've got two plus more command, one plus personal security, and one plus law. So this guy is becoming very powerful. Let's merge up everywhere that we can. Let's uh, withdraw back to Gorgos Tower. And let's get ourselves another death rocket. Because we're going to need it. How are things doing up in the north? Hmm. We could use more warriors, but right now we're struggling to fight the Tomb Kings. So I think we need to keep things where they are. Yeah. All right, let's save the game and end our turn. Pretty sure all of Khan has now got 10 commands. That makes him like a, the ultimate commander I have. He's just a mercenary too. That's the funny thing. Night goblins seem to just be running around with small armies everywhere. And the orcs and goblins are pushing back against the Skaven. So the Skaven are looking weak right now. Okay, so they're moving forces off the Tomb Kings, but they still have a considerable force here, and I know that if I start to approach them again, they'll bring back even more men, which is just going to be a pain. <sighs> I need, I need like a, a proper army, full stack, before I can defeat them, really. Right now, I just don't have it. You want me to take Karak Vlag and you'll give me 2,500 gold crowns. Well, 
At the moment, I just can't do that. We've got a minor chaos barracks here. That's good. That'll help us to replenish our men and build more of them. Awesome. Dwarf blunderbusses. When can we get more of you? In four turns. So when do we... What do we want to do here? Can get a better barracks for a crap ton of orcs. Ooh, Hell Cannon of Chaos seems lovely. All the Warriors Hall. Yeah, I'm going to get a large Chaos Dwarf Manufactory. We are going to have less money than before, but we are still going to end up with over $4,000 in the bank, so we're doing okay. Current vlog. They currently have 15 units inside. I just can't deal with that right now. But, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Call of Warhammer as the Chaos Dwarves. I know we haven't made much progress, but we've just started a new war with the Tomb Kings, and I hope you guys have been enjoying this. So, I guess I'll see you guys next time in the next video. And as always, my name has been Edogs82. See you later.